last weekend at his son's house, Henry Cooper died. I'm sure that you have seen enough and read enough this week. I wanted to take a look at the man, but I didn't want to just go over the Arley and the Bugner stuff. Now, Walker was a better paid and bigger attraction as a heavyweight in the 60s. He was. He was known as the Blonde Bomber. People adored him, especially the women, Joan Collins and a few hundred other 60s chicks. Anyway, the Bomber, with his uh, recently deceased brother George, built an empire with Billy's ring earnings. They became fabulously rich. Much richer than our Henry, if the truth be told. And much richer than Henry could have even dreamed of. Anyway, Henry and Billy were friends, but in 1967 they fought for Cooper's British and Commonwealth heavyweight titles. Now I spoke to Billy earlier and I asked him when he first met Henry. I think it was about 18, 19-ish because a guy called um, Joe Lucy used to be um, um, ran a uh, gym somewhere. English, uh, lightweight chairman, I think. Yeah. He had the um, Thomas Beckett, he looked after it, uh, or owned it, I don't know exactly what. And he used to say, come up and I'll get you some sparring with the pros up there, which I used to go up. And sure. it was much better than trying to find amateur boys. I used to spar with the pros up there. Don't ask me who they were at the time, but there was a lot of guys up there. Did you, did you spar with Henry during that time, never, ever? No, I never sparred with Henry. <sighs> Bygraves I used to spar with. It was a hard nut. Yeah, it used grade. to get a bit nasty, that as well, didn't it, with Bygraves? Well, yeah, I used to with Joe Bugner. Yeah, I saw that when he was only a little baby of 17. Yeah, he was 16, I was oh. he was from some place in the Midlands, I forget where it was. Yeah. And it was great, it was lovely. Now, Bill, when, when, you, when you turned pro, Henry had already been, you know, British champion. Oh, it's been and going for years. You know. It's been going, been going for years. But did, was he on your radar, Billy, when you first turned pro? Because you turned pro in a blaze of publicity on yeah, account of the fantastic win over the American as well. Yeah, but I knocked the guy. I'm a bit of, my bit of luck in life, you know. I yeah. managed to in that big American on TV and it made me, you know, and which was lovely. And um, I sort of capitalised, my brother did anyway, he mm. <laughs> pushed me forward. <laughs> and uh, it was lovely. And But um, Henry, I knew, was all, I never, I didn't, he wasn't in my sights at the time, you know. I was okay. in, all I was into is fighting and earning some money to get out of the bloody market. I worked in Billingsgate. Billingsgate, yeah, as a porter. But did you think, say, in, say, in sort of 64, 65, did you think Henry would be retired by the time you were fighting for the well, British I title? Well, might be, because yeah. he's had so many fights, but then you realise he wasn't that old. He was only, I think, five years older than me. Yeah, he just looked older, didn't he? How old was he when he died? 50, it's coming up 57. He was five years old. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was he was only about... I mean, when you when you eventually got in the ring with him, he was only about 31 or 32. That's but right, yeah. That's right. It was, you know, he had been 20... Five, six, you, know? yeah. you just think you just. I don't know about you, Billy, but uh, I always think, obviously, I'm. I, I always think of Henry as being old, looking old. He always looked old, didn't he? You know what I mean? <laughs> You're not going to draw me into that. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean it nicely. No, you know, you I'm. Being... <laughs> he had an older looking face. An older looking he, face. He was always very fit and gaunt, wasn't he? He was always very I fit. Think he yeah. Got much better as he got older. He filled out a lot. Yeah, he did. Yeah, a couple of pounds got a bit yeah, stuck. Yeah, because when I fought him, I think he only weighed about thirteen four. Yeah, it's true. And I met him, you know, years ago when he when he retired. And you know, I said, "Good, he put it." He said, "Yeah, I'm, I'm sixteen stone now, and he looked much better." Yeah, he more did. Full of face. Much better. I tell you, it's a pity he wasn't 16 stone when he was boxing, Billy. Well, that was the point. I mean, to be truthful on today's standards, we, we were we were cruise away. You were. You know, just cruise, just cruise away. Just cruise. Of course, you and him both, you had very different lifestyles, didn't you, Billy, really? To, 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 to you know, to put it mildly, he well, was yeah, you, yeah. very... Well, very he, um, he, uh, can I put this nicely? Well, he, you can put it, you can put it in any way you like. Well, he got married and was happily married all his life. Yep. I got married and broke up um, three times and um, and I used to chase girls all the time mm. and, um, and therefore that's how we were different. But in all fairness Bill I mean reading between the lines and talking to people in New York often there wasn't a lot of chasing involved often it was a lot of you running away because they were chasing you. Well I, what can I say sounds a bit <laughs> <laughs> but it was Put it that way, it's pretty easy, pretty easy. Yeah. But, but I'm, I'm under the cosh now. Uh, I'm married again to Susan and she, you know... I'm... You, I have to get a chitty to go out. You well, know. listen, I appreciate her giving you a little bit of time out. Now, Billy, when you actually did come in, come to face Henry in '67, um, I'm reading on. You know, you said you said I mean, I'm reading here. So I steamed forward, forcing Cooper back on the ropes with swinging rights and lefts. And the bell went back to my corner. You thought you, you were doing okay until the a tiny well, little cut ruled you out. I, was, I wasn't winning the fight. I think he was ahead on points. He was. I think I'd, uh, I'd won a couple of rounds and, and even one, and mm. so I was told. And I, I, our plan was, 
we had 15 rounds to go. Of course. And I thought, I'd keep pushing forward, pushing forward, and tire him out. And then out of the blue, but I got a cut eye in the sixth round. I could not believe it. But it was the yeah. tiniest little cut in the end. It was only one stitch in the end, Billy. That's all it was. But um, uh, I, well, I can't complain. I got a cut eye, but mm. I think um, they never even called the the doctor to wow. look at it. The, the, the referee at the time, and I forget his name, short little man, grey haired. He said no, and he stopped the fight. Did you ever? Did you sort of come into contact with a lot with uh, Henry? What you know? During the 70s, when you'd both retired... And oh, yeah, 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 because, you see, it was mostly at dinners. You know, we were both into charity yep. and lots of boxing dinners and other dinners. And, and I used to see him quite regular at dinners and I got quite friendly. And I'm not friends as we yeah. I got quite to know his wife quite well. She was a nice woman. She'd always say, hello, Billy, and how are you? Oh. You know, she was a nice person. So was Henry. Yeah, of course he was. Yeah. It, you, I mean, you, uh, I mentioned that you sort of, you know, very sort of different approaches on life, but you also were very different in a sense. You were the blonde bomber, you know, people fought over you, promoters fought over you to try and sign you. You know, you got an incredible deal when you turned pro. Yeah. All the sorts of things that Cooper didn't have. Did you sort of get the idea that, 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 that there was, that, that lots of people in the British boxing industry, including the journalists, were envious of you, Billy, weren't they? Let's not. And the well, journalists, some of them were savage to you. Oh, yes. But it doesn't matter, because I remember George said to me, my brother said to me, Listen, doesn't matter what they say, as long as they spell the name right. And, <laughs> and get the venue right. And he was, yeah, he said, so... I said, well, you know, don't be the good boy, but don't be... Don't go mad enough to cause, sure. like, uh, lawful trouble, but just to live your life to the full. Mm. And I did. Mm. And, uh, you, you certainly and did. What I used to do is make sure, month before each fight, I used to give up and train. Yeah. Um, used to live it. Let, let, let me ask you this just, just quickly before I let you go, and I really appreciate your time. When was the last time you saw Henry? Can you remember? Oh, yes, uh, I saw him. I know I, I mean, it was at um, a dinner. Oh, God, what was the name of the dinner? I forgot. Where. Anyway, it was a dinner, I don't know, um, October, November last year. Oh, wow. How was he then? He didn't look very well. Oh, OK. He looked quite gaunt. Did you have a chat with him then, yeah, Billy? he told me, I remember this really, he told me he had something wrong with his... He said, I can't play golf with him. I said, oh, God. I oh, know, wow. You know, Henry. And he said, well, yeah, I've got this, something wrong. I, I don't know what the thing, what he was. There's something wrong with his heart. That when, when the heart pumps, it doesn't pump out what he needs to keep him going. Oh, and I wow. said, well, there must be something for you. And he said, no, there's no cure. I remember him saying that to me. And I thought, oh, God, that's terrible. But I didn't, you know, I thought it was something that was going to take a long, long time to mm. kill him, you know. Not like it did. It was quite quick. Was mm, quite quite. So, Billy, just finally, what are you up to now? Where, where, where are you? Where are you these days? I live in Jersey. Oh, no, with, you, with your fourth wife? With my fourth wife, yes. Who you knew for years and years and years because she I married a guy you used to know. I knew back in the seventies she was the woman for me. But she married that she married the wrong the man. <laughs> mm. and she wouldn't leave him. That was the point. Oh. listen, Billy, I've got to tell you, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today. I really appreciate right. your time. Oh, I enjoy, enjoy it. So nice to, well, yeah, to talk to people about Henry and life. Yeah. Billy Walker, thanks so much for your time. Cheers, mate. All the best. That was West Ham's uh, blonde bomber, Billy Walker, talking to me. There is book, by the way, When the Gloves Came Off. Britain's Playboy Box was published in 2007. It really is worth getting hold of.